hitting the high notes real quick. You need a uh, properly you, active federal service, first and foremost. Um, you need a proper discharge characterization, depending on whether or not the VA um, is bound by the services designation of your discharge type or whether they make an initial character of discharge determination determines your path about how you go. Uh, remember to look at issues of alcohol and drug and how uh, abuse and how those affect eligibility. You've got line of duty investigations for injuries that occur that can sever eligibility and always look to the presumption of soundness and the presumption of aggravation. Now, this is, a, I, I, this is one of the first two components that the board is calling it an upstream element. But if you look at the way the law treats it, it's almost like a standalone element. It's almost like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good metaphor off the top of my head, but it's almost like the launch pad that you have to step on before you can show the other three. So if they're denying it for alcohol abuse, lack of uh, proof of in the line of duty, uh, they're saying presumption of soundness does not apply, presumption of aggravation does not apply. Um, if they're saying those things, if they're saying you don't have the right discharge or the right act of federal service, then what you've got there in that scenario is an eligibility component. You're going nowhere on the other issues until you solve that eligibility problem. Um, so again, file the claim. Even if you know they're going to deny it for a, a lack of eligibility, be straightforward with them. I mean, you don't want to be hiding the ball. Um, when I say, you know, kind of seal up and don't say anything, you don't need to prove their case for them. But at the same time, you don't want to get into a scenario where you're actively um, hiding or actively distorting the facts because uh, that gets you into real hot water. So be very careful with that line. Um, and I want to be clear that I'm not giving any legal advice there. But what I am saying um, is that you don't have to do the VA's work for them. But at the same time, you have to be straightforward. If you know you're going to be denied because you've got a disqualifying discharge, tell them. Let them deny it and appeal it. And let it sit there on appeal while you go and upgrade your discharge if that's what you have to do, right? That way you get the benefit of the earlier effective date. You're not trying to hide anything there. You're just trying to preserve your effective date, okay?